Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Rob Shiva. So, I've been watching. I've been keeping track of this whole thing with the woman on the plane, right? And I've been watching and seeing the funniest, funniest videos that you can see. Uh, they had a guy that came on there and said uh, uh, that he was the actual uh, guy in the in the green hooded sweatshirt or whatever that was, and uh, it was pretty funny. He uh, he said that he had a 15 inch penis, and that when she saw that. She was uh, terrified and said that he's not real, and that's why she got off the plane. So you have idiots like this that are doing that, you know? So <laughs> it's entertainingly funny. I'm not going to lie. It's amusing. Uh, I love, you know, like I said, my earlier videos, you'll see somebody said she was racist, that she was drunk. Um, you name it. She had mental problems. I mean, they've had everything you can think of under the sun to talk to say about her. For me personally, her reaction was genuine. It was genuine fear. That was real. I felt it. I think everybody who watched it felt it. I don't think you'd be moved like that, you know, unless you saw something that really, really freaked you out. And I see all the, like about at least a couple hundred people now saying that they were on the plane. It would have to be a jumbo jet. I don't think the plane had that many people on it. And they all said, I sat right next to him. So you have a two, 300 people that sat next, next to him. I don't know how that happens, but on TikTok, it happens. Okay. So. That could be another anomaly. Who knows? But they all said that this. They all say the same thing. The guy turned around and winked at them. Now, what kind of an alien would turn around and start winking at two hundred people? Seriously, you know. <laughs> and uh, the one thing that I can tell you for myself, in fact, is that if I was on the plane, which I have been on a plane, and I have sat next to women, and I can tell that they are not real. When I say not real, fake boobs, definitely plastic surgery fake everything, fake personality. I mean, of course, it didn't make me get up and scream and run or run out of the plane. I mean, unless the eyes close you know, vertically instead of like this, of course, yes, I'd get up and I would run, probably scream like a woman and jet out of there. <laughs> you know, pretty much like that woman did. But uh, on a serious note, guys, have you ever seen uh, the Twilight Zone episode which with William Shatner, one of my favorites, where he's literally terrified of something that he sees on the wing of the plane and everybody's denying it until the end of the movie when you actually see that there was something there because the plane's been scraped up pretty badly. It was bang, you know, like something was ripping through the wing and the engine on the wing. And uh, things like this, you know, you see stuff like this in science fiction. Is this, you know, uh, entertainment or, you know, sci-fi meets reality? Like, like what is this really, you know? Uh, we don't know exactly what this is, but we're, something's going on. Not, not anybody's really sure of what's happening, but definitely something is going on. I'm going to be keeping uh, a very close eye on this and, and, and watching and hoping that, that either the guy in the hood, the hoodie comes out or she comes out and says something. Otherwise, this might be a psyop, you know, which God knows what that's for. But I do believe that, that they've been here, the ETs or aliens or whatever, reptilians, whatever you call them, because there's, you know, the Sumerian text. It tells you 6,000, 7,000 years ago they were here. You know, there's tons of evidence of that. Why would they not still be here and in control of things? And their technology must be much more advanced than ours. Look what's happening in Antarctica, man. You know, there's a lot of things going on. I've seen things since I was a kid. So, you know, I'm definitely going to pay close attention to this. As, uh, I hope you guys know I do have a sense of humor. I like to laugh. You know, when I see stupid things, I laugh, you know, if they're cleverly funny. But uh, and also it's silly funny, you know, but uh, I will be paying attention. I'll be making some more videos. If you like what I do, you can check the spiritual philanthropist on Facebook. You can check me out on YouTube. I'm all over there. All right, guys. See you soon. See you in the next video. All right.